Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano and today we're going to be talking about five reasons why you shouldn't get the Android 12 update what on your Pixel device just yet unless it's already there like a Pixel 6 or a Pixel 6 Pro. But if you have like anything like a Pixel 4, 4XL, 4A, 3A or 3 or 3XL or something like that, then I would actually wait and I'm going to tell you right now why. Now, I am having the first issue is that sometimes nearby share doesn't work when I'm sending large videos, but it works like most of the time, but it just doesn't work like every single time. Like maybe it's just the device I was trying to use it on. But for instance, if you're downloading a large file, if you're trying to transfer a large file over to your device and you hit this this option right here, right? And you go to, um, you know, what I'm saying, let's say you find a video that you want to share or something. And then let's just see, this thing does take beautiful pictures on here, just to be honest with you. But um, any video, right? If it's a large video and you're trying to send it to another device, sometimes I did notice that it wouldn't work on the nearby share. But for the most time, most part, it does work. Now, the second thing I'm experiencing is apps force closing for some reason. And um, I'm not sure why it does that, but for instance, if I'm in an app like YouTube uh, Studio, like I noticed that this app force closes like 90.99.9% of the time, like it just disappeared right there off the screen. And that it does that every single time I use that app. So I don't really like that part about it. So apps will force close. Also nearby share is off and on. It works most of the time, but not every single time. Now, the third thing is that when I'm getting text messages on here, I don't hear them come in. Like I didn't even know I had a text message right now. It came in like 23 minutes ago and I didn't even hear that come in. I'm not get being notified when, I, when I'm getting text messages. Like sometimes it'll work, other times it won't. I'm not sure what, why it's working sometimes and then other times I don't hear anything come in. So that's kind of annoying. And I don't really like that part. Now, someone had asked me, how do you add, you know, weather widget? I kind of want to share that too with you right now. And that's something that is just something to help you guys out, right? So just go to widgets, scroll down, and you're going to go down right here where it says Google, right? Where's Google? It's going to be all the way in the middle somewhere right here. And then you just click the weather apps right here. You could click this one or this one, and it'll say the city or just the... The, the, the temperature, right? So that's how you get to the weather widget or the weather, not the weather app, the weather widget. So that's pretty much how you would get to the weather widget, but that seems to work perfectly fine. No issues with that whatsoever. But another thing that I did notice, and I did take a screenshot of this when I go in the library and I go to screenshots, I'll show you that I did, uh, let me see if I, if I caught it. I, 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 I um, don't see it on here for some reason, but I, I took a screenshot and it showed the screen like glitching out like something. It was like oh, one screen was over top of the other screen and it had like overlapping issues. And I didn't I didn't know why it did that, but it did do, do that. Um, it doesn't do that a lot, but it will have like some freezing issues sometimes. Also, apps will close. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And another thing is that I'm not getting my notifications on my text messages, right? So apps will close, nearby share, sometimes it'll work for videos, but not every single time that I tried it. But lately, it, that I, now that I've been using it, it's it's been working. So I just wanted to be 100% honest with you as to why you shouldn't get the Android 12 just yet. And then another thing is someone else pointed out is that you can't change the icon shape anymore from like circle, square, uh, you know, any other shape. So if you go to uh, wallpaper and style, you used to be able to change like the the shape of the icons. Now they only give you something called water wallpaper colors and basic colors, and you could pretty much map the colors out to to be your personal preference. So you get this undertone of purple, right? You could change the undertones, right? You could change the undertones. That looks pretty cool. Or you can change make it make it so that the wallpaper it'll adapt to the whatever wallpaper that you're using, but you can't change the shapes of the icons like you was able to do before. You could do the theme icons and stuff like that. 
it'll it'll theme the, the icons. I don't really like the way that looks. I like the colors on there. So that's just something to note is that you can't change these these icons. At least I don't know how to change the icon shape um, on here. But let me know if you were able to figure that out on Android 12. I just wasn't able to change the icon shape. But on the Android 11, you were able to change the icon shape. And you could also change it to any color, not just these four colors that they do have here. So it has like one, two, three, four. You were able to change it to more colors than that on Android 11. So I just wanted to make note of that, right? So that you guys were aware of it before you downloaded the software because I did notice that, that I was having a lot of issues with that. And I was also having a lot of issues with force closing on my apps and jitteriness and um, you know freezing as well. So just something to note, right? Go to system and go to gestures. And then when you tap, you can actually turn on something called one-handed mode, right? So this is an Android 12 feature that you do have the ability to turn on, right? And it says right here that to use one-handed mode, swipe down from the bottom, swipe down from the bottom edge of the screen to use this feature. Let me see if I'm doing it wrong. The bottom edge, right? Not the bottom corner, but just the bottom edge. I'm not able to do that, like, at all. Let me know if you're able to do that. But, like, the way that this phone is, like, positioned in my hand, what, what he's doing on the screen, I can't. I'm, well, I don't want to say I can't, but I just don't know how to do it because it's just not working for me. Look, the bottom edge, right? He's going from the side. The finger's going from the side, and then it's just going to the bottom. So I'm not I'm not actually sure how to get the one handed mode to work for me. You maybe have figured it out, but if you did figure it out, please let me know how you do that. It's just it should be more easier to access the one handed mode on here. I just don't know how to do it. Is it maybe it's not maybe it's just that app, right? So I tried this app. It's just scrolling down. It's not doing that for me. Let me know how you did that if you were able to do that but I just was not able to access the one-handed mode feature, right? So you can't change the icon shapes anymore. And some of the colors are very limited. You can't, I can't use the one, I don't want to say can't, but I'm not able to figure out how to use the one-handed mode, right? And this device does experience, not this device, but Android 12 does experience freezing. See, like it brings down the notification panel when I do that, but I'm not able to get into the one-handed mode or something. But let me know how, how you were able to do it. Also, apps close. Also, the nearby share doesn't close. And the last thing is that I'm not able to hear my text messages come in. Like, when they when they do come in, I'm, I don't even know that they came in because it's, for some reason, they're all silenced. And I did have my sounds all the way up, ringtones. Um, all of it is cranked up to the top. But I just didn't want to have that touch sound be too loud, right? So I kind of, that's a good volume. And you could change the, the sound of that if you didn't like the sound of that. I did change it to something else recently. But even even though I, I look at the touch sounds are on, everything is on as far as the sounds, but I just can't hear. I'm unable to hear the sound of my text messages come in. And that was the last thing. So I wanted to share the top five reasons not to update to Android 12 right now. And so they actually push out an update to fix some of the bugs in the software. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share my experiences with Android 12 with you and let you know what I was experiencing. But let me know what you were experiencing and let me know if you just if you think you should upgrade, if, if, if you would recommend it to other people. But I just it does feel a little bit uh, like it does feel like it's more too colorful and cartoony, like the the notifications on here look really, really rounded and colorful. It almost looks too cartoonish and, and, and too bubbly. I'm not sure that I quite like it. Like it looks new and it looks kind of cool to look at, but I'm not sure if I like it more than Android 11. I think I, I liked Android 11 just a little bit more. But um, let me know what you guys think about the Android 12 compared to the Android 11. Would you recommend upgrading to the Android 12 right now? Or would you recommend people would wait? to get the Android 12. I think people should wait until a software update improves 
some of those things that I did mention in this video, right? So I'm just going to be completely transparent and let you know that those are the reasons why I would let you, I would recommend that you stay with Android 11 in the meantime. But I'm going to get right back with you. Leave a comment down below to show your support and appreciation. Also hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. And I'll check you guys later. I'll get right back with you later for a piece.